Hello, what's up YouTube, Ronnie Sweet and I tutorial and in this tutorial I'll show you guys how I did the color grading for this particular image. So for those that were interested in the image settings, let me first of all go through the image settings for this particular portrait right here. So this image was taken using a Canon 6D camera and it is a raw file. So this is the before for the image as you can see right here. So I just want to color grade it to look like this and I posted this on my Instagram and if at all you are interested in checking out my Instagram handle it is Atronics Photography you can check it out and also follow me so that we can keep in touch later on. So back to the settings it was shot using a Canon 6D camera and I shot this at around, it was at around 2 p.m. And I shot it at ISO 200 using a 70-200 millimeter lens. And I had to make sure that I zoom it all the way to 200 millimeters. And I shot this at f2.8 using a shutter speed of 800th of a second. So let me just get it to look like the before. So this is what we want to do the color grading onto. And I want to show you guys how I did the color grading for this particular image and let me first give you guys a moment to like this video because i've noticed that most of you guys just watch and you just run away without giving this video a like because when you give this video a like it is going to be recommended to more people out there who are interested maybe in learning how to color grade images in camera or even photoshop itself well if you're done liking this video let's kick in and we start learning about the steps I did to achieve those nice and vibrant colors for this particular image. So what I did first of all was to recover the highlights right here and what I had to do or what I do, I just count the highlights and I just push them all the way down. So when I do that you can see since I shot this in high speed sync, I still had detail in the highlights or the sky right here. So you can see we have just gotten back the blue color in the sky area and it doesn't look so blown out so i just want to regain more of the information in the sky area so what i'm going to do i'm just going to knock down the whites too and you can see that this has gotten back the nice and beautiful sky right here then what i usually do is adding contrast to the image so i'm just going to go with around a contrast of 11 and this adds those nice and rich skin tones. Then the next thing is coming to the blacks because I want to get more information or add some little bit of contrast to the image. So I'm just going to come to the blacks and knock them in just like that. But when I do this, I lose out on some of the detail in the black area or the shadows of the image. So in order to do that, I'm just going to slightly push up my shadows just like that so i think 25 is fine and let's see where we are right now this is the before and after so far but i felt like i still had so many magentas in the image so in order to eliminate the magentas in this portrait what i did i came to the temperature or white balance option then i came to the tint and in order to eliminate the magentas in the skin tones I simply move this towards uh, the greens and that introduced that nice and popping kind of feel to this particular image. So the next thing or where the magic really took place was in the HSL panel or hue saturation and luminance option right here. So basically what I did, I came to the greens and I simply move them towards the yellow side just like that and you can see that this made the image stand out from the background but it as well made the background pop a little bit more then since i did change uh, the denim pants for the model i simply came to the blues since this is blue so i aimed for that kind of orange and teal kind of look so i came and pushed this down just like that and you can see that this made the image really pop and have a whole new feel added to it then what i did next 
I did not tamper with the saturation of this image. I simply came to the luminous option and under luminance, basically what I had to do was simply moving the blues a little bit down because luminosity is more or luminous is more of the brightness or darkness of a particular color. So when I push this up, you can see it makes the blue color lighter. And when I push it down, it makes the blue color a little bit darker. But that is too much. I'm just going to double click to reset and I'm just going to push it just right there. So you can see this was the image before and this is the after before. After I hope you can see the difference it made to this image. So the next thing I did was taking the image into Photoshop and I did the last and final step for the color grading process. So after doing all that, I just came or oh, I'll just come and I hit open in order to open this image into my Photoshop to do the final step for the color grading of this particular series. So here we are in Photoshop and what I did basically, I came to the crop tool and I cropped this very image just like that in a ratio of 45 because I usually post onto Instagram and after hitting enter, this image is going to be cropped. Then I had to get a tool to eliminate this soft box right here. And I'm just going to use the spot healing brush tool and just dab over that soft box to eliminate it and it is off so we can see that the image really looks well shaped and we have no other distractions so i came to selective color then i simply pushed up the blacks or darken the blacks even more for this particular image just like that to around four then i added some kind of blue Remember the opposite of yellow is blue, so I added some little bit of blues up to around negative 2. Basically, this is all I did for the color grading process for this series of images. And if at all you have loved this tutorial, don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe this channel. If at all you have learned and loved this very tutorial, Ronix from Ronix Photography, thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and keep color grading.